good to see you all and welcome back to Adobe Live where you can tune in for all of your creative inspiration. Each week we have different creatives from different fields and today is day two of three of our UI UX live stream. So today I've got Meg here again for two hours and I'm your host Andrea Hawk. I'm starting to see some of you pop up in the chat today. Um, hello Jason, Ajit, Rochio, Kanisha, a lot of you guys in there. Good morning and or good night wherever you're from. Um, so today we've got a busy day planned, so let's take a look at our schedule. Right now we are on from 9.30 to 11.30. Um, we've got Meg here, she'll be doing a Cat Cafe website. And then at 11.30 we've got Voodoo Val and she'll be doing the Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge. And at 12 we've got uh, Brad Basham, and he's going to be doing Photoshop Creative Imaging. So we've got a full day planned. So everyone in the chat, let us know how you're doing, where you're from. We'll be checking the chat throughout the stream. Um, so keep asking us questions and saying hi. Um, so during the live stream today, we're going to be doing a chat and win, and that's going to be in about 30 minutes. And again, you can win um, 100 free Sticker Mule stickers. Um, those would be custom, so that's when you just chat away in the Behance chat. And we also will be doing um, design reviews on the Slack channel, and that will take place the last 30 minutes of the stream around 11 a.m. Um, so we'll take designs from the hashtag design feedback channel on uh, Slack. And we don't have an XD Daily Creative Challenge this week, we just have a Photoshop one. But the XD Creative Challenge will start next Monday, so be sure to tune in for that. So, yeah, let's get into it again. Yeah, Meg, why don't you, for the people that uh, didn't tune in yesterday, why don't you just uh, give people a little recap yeah. on who you are, what you're working on today, and maybe fill them in on what we did yeah, yesterday. Yeah, what we did yesterday. Mm -hmm. Uh, so for the new people, I'm Meg, I'm a creative director, I do many different things, um, illustration, UI, UX, um, branding, a lot of things, <laughs> uh, and you're probably going to see that in the stream again today. Um, so yesterday we did uh, five screens, so we're doing a website for a cat cafe, and uh, tomorrow we're going to have the mobile version done. And we're also going to have a little bit of animation to actually show how you can make different animations for your website um, and hand that over to a developer to actually make it happen. Uh, and it is something that's kind of tricky, so it's kind of like impor important to like go over. Um, so um, awesome. we're going to show you my screen so you can see uh, what I did yesterday. So we have the homepage that's here. Love that so much. I went <laughs> over it. This is pretty yesterday. popular with people in the chat. I went over it a little bit <laughs> yesterday. Oh, thank you. My laptop cover is from Etsy. <laughs> I see a lot of messages about it. Uh, so we have this screen that's definitely not um, done yet, but that's the menu. Uh, and we have our cats. Uh, where Can we, we go have... back to the first page again? I oh, yeah, sure. just want to zoom in on that one. There we go. I love that, the floating cats and pastries and everything. Oh, there's more floating things coming. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love that so much. Um, yeah, so this, those are the residents, so mm -hmm. like the, the cats that are permanent and the cats that are adoptable. And uh, we have the event section. So yesterday I said that I would have two different events. I think we're going to have one for now, um, so that it's going to take the entire the entire page. Um, and that one's not, absolutely not done. That's a contact page uh, where you have the address and a CTA. And I, I left it blank on purpose because we're going to see how we can use symbols with that button mm -hmm. uh, in order to like not have to redo a button multiple times. So if you mm -hmm. change something once, you change it everywhere. Uh, and also how to push changes so that the copy changes everywhere. That's mm -hmm. also something that's really, really valuable and For practical sure. that I really don't see very often in, in any software, really. Um, so awesome. That's um, great. I think I we'll be think, busy today. Yeah, and uh, there's a question that I said I wouldn't answer today that we didn't yesterday. Yes. That's a really good question, and that actually covers uh, some things that I'm doing here. Um, the question was, what is the safe zone um, for a like a wider screen? So here we're in uh, 1920, uh, and some people said the safe zone is uh, 1280. Uh, I personally don't go over 1200, mm -hmm. but uh, like safe zones are not really like necessarily like 
a must. Like for example, if you look at the homepage, there's no um, like there, there's no grid. Like the content is like stuck on the side. There's mm -hmm. nothing here, and mm -hmm. it's still working. So, um, and the question was, what what do you do if your screen is smaller than 1200? And so this is uh, 1200. What do you do if it's smaller? And in that case, we would use media queries. So if you collapse something and there's no way to actually make it fit, then you're going to make another screen with a different size, and it's going to be, how does it look like when you get to that size? What, can you explain what media queries mean? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, so media queries <laughs> are, so when you have a website, mm -hmm. um, the CSS tells you what the breaking point is. So when you okay. scale down your window, when does it mm. shift so to a different view? So it's just the response of different sizes. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's a breaking point. Okay. And that's the, the exact value of mm -hmm. your width, from which point your window is going to be another gotcha. one. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Um, and yeah, if it doesn't work anymore, you just make, make a new screen or mm -hmm. adapt what you have in order for it to work. Mm -hmm. That's it. But there's no like ultimate rules of like how it should be. Uh, sure. That's really how it works. And um, we're actually going to see that with that screen pretty soon about the responsive option mm -hmm. that's in um, XD. So, cool. uh, learn something new today. <laughs> oh, cool. Yay. I did. I didn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I actually placed my elements yesterday. So, those are like placed uh, the way I want them cool. in like the uh, in terms of like centering. Mm -hmm. uh, I have some outlines here, I mean, some rectangles. And it's going to be hopefully more interesting if I add this. <laughs> and I think it does now. <laughs> uh, and we're also going to see how we can outline elements uh, in XD directly mm -hmm. with cups, because we're going to add cups. So I'm just going to add okay. a shadow to this, okay. first of all. And I liked how yesterday on the home page you were talking about how certain elements you want them to be closer towards the, the user background. as opposed to yeah. Yeah, further away. Yeah. So those you added a different drop shadow for certain elements. So yeah. like I think the pastries, those were closer, so the drop shadow was, um, you know, a bit bigger. And I think that can be used for buttons as well. So like, um, you know, I feel like my rule is like, if you think about if the button is actually being pressed, um, so maybe that will be, well, I guess this is a little bit different, but Yeah, the shadow can move. Mm -hmm, the yeah, I love move, that. And also the color of the button itself. Yeah. You know, so if it's being pressed, then maybe like you won't see, or there's a shade coming in from the sun, so the button itself will be darker, versus if it's actually being, um, you know, raised, then the button will be lighter. So you can think about yeah. that for the different button states too. What I love that not a lot of people do, mm -hmm. so it's, it depends on the browser, not all browsers have that yet, but what's really cool is when you can have so you have a shape. Actually, I'm going to do it here so you can see what I'm talking about. And it can be really, really fun to do. Um, so you can have a fill that is a gradient. Mm -hmm. I'm going to remove the, the shadow in the back after. Um, so let's say it goes from purple to blue. Just mm -hmm. a second. Blue. Oh, is it, in the, is it behind that other? Yeah, it's behind the other okay. one. Uh, and so if I remove the shadow and this becomes blurred, you can have a really cool shadow that's a gradient. Mm. And that's, that's really fun. Mm -hmm. That's, that's really, really fun. Tip. But again, check that with your developer because it doesn't always work. So you uh, might have, uh, yeah, I, I forgot which one. Mm -hmm. But I know that there's some versions where uh, blur doesn't, doesn't work that easily. Mm, okay. uh, if it doesn't, Mm -hmm. And if you don't have that much, in, like that many images, mm -hmm. you can also have that as a PNG as a backup. Oh. So if it doesn't work, you can have a PNG to actually. Always a loophole for something. There's always a loophole, <laughs> <laughs> literally. I wouldn't have thought about that, but that works. So yeah, that's that's, um, very neat. that's it. That's that's yeah. a potential thing. And mm -hmm. if you're not doing web, that's really cool for. That's yeah. what I do in my illustrations a lot. Yeah, totally. Um, so it looks like it's I like, how do you did that glow? It's just, yeah. it's just a shape <laughs> behind it that's blurred right, out. Right. That looks like it. Um, yeah, so we're going to outline some cups now. Cool. So we're doing some more floating objects in that my on the menu page? Yes. Cool. So I have that one and that one. Going with the pastels again. Love Always. it. <laughs> 
So what's everyone up to today in the chat? Um, are you guys working? Are you students? Let us know what you're working on. Uh, we'd love to hear while yeah. we're working away. We, I should say you, are working away. <laughs> well, you, you're contributing to the things <laughs> happening, so. I'm just your cheerleader over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have one here. Ooh, matcha. Matcha. And one here. I don't know if the color is going to work, though. We'll see. Oh, against the, yeah. the green, yeah. So we could we give it a drop shadow, maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'm going to have to edit it a little bit. Okay, so we are going to make two of those because we need one image per outline. Okay. And, um, well, there's... Uh, okay, David says, there's always a loophole, quote marks. <laughs> life lesson number one. <laughs> yes. Very <laughs> much so. Giving out life lessons here. Saeed says, wow, nice shadow trick. It is very learning, practical. Learning lots here. So you're gonna um, trace that and make it a like clipping mask, I guess. I do a lot of vector mm -hmm. tracing when it's like a clean mm -hmm. line, and yeah. I literally have people in my office sending me images. Like, hey, can you outline this? I'm like, you know how to do it. I'm like, no, I'm not that good at making smooth vectors. Like, yeah. Okay, and then that then ended up being like the, the outliner. A lot of times I'll actually just if it's something simple, like the cat fur is a little too complex, maybe for yeah, Illustrator, you, you but to go over. I'll I'll take it into Illustrator first, and then just use the image trace tool um, to like quickly outline it, and then expand it, and then I'll bring it back into XD. Because yeah. um, sometimes, and it XD is really good about being able to like copy and paste things from Illustrator now, because you can do SVG yeah. icons now from Illustrator too, which is really nice. Um, but Kanisha's the pen tool asking, is Oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, the pen tool is not, you have to get used to it. Mm -hmm. it's like, a for example, different. here, you mm -hmm. have to, like, I believe, uh, when you want to break one, it's trickier. Mm -hmm. So you have to make sure that um, you, like, trace one in the middle of what you want to end, when, end up at, and then, like, do, like, a sharp click instead of um, going over your point and trying to change it, mm -hmm. I feel like. Um, so Kanisha is asking about the pen tool. How are you bending the vector as you're tracing? Uh, you keep it down. So like you keep your mouse down. Mm -hmm. down. Yeah, you hold it and then you, mm -hmm. you trace. Um, and yeah, that's it. And if you have a tablet, that's even better. Like tracing with a tablet is like oh, way yeah. faster. <laughs> so much easier. Yeah. I just got used to the trackpad. Yeah, but yeah it, is, it is way, way easier with a tablet. For sure. Yeah, I'm, pr I'm probably going to do the second one in Photoshop because that takes a long time and that's not really interesting to see. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Well, like at that. least if you don't know how to mask, you don't know how to mask. So <laughs> yeah. there's there's a thing for everything. Uh, so this path. Yeah, is we've here. got all all kinds of. Um, Oh yeah, people that are learning at different stages in yeah. the chat. So. Um, and in case you don't know what to do here. Um, so in, in vectors, it's always like filled shapes. So the one at the bottom, the first one that I did that outlines the entire cup is one shape. So the, we, we won't see that the hole from the handle. So you need another shape and then you need to have that top shape being subtracted to the, the previous one. So mm -hmm. we select both of them. The one on top is a small one and we're using subtract here to actually have only one shape. And now this, we can't really see because obviously it's white, but this this part is, is transparent now. And we're gonna mask the cup now. So we're holding that one, selecting the other one at the bottom. Where's my thing? Object and mask with shape. And now it's transparent. It doesn't show because this one is visible. There you go. Yeah, the thing I love about XD compared to Illustrator is that all of your layers are just like very easy. Like they have the icons and they're just all open on the left. Yeah. Cause I never named or, um, yes, I just never <laughs> named or really organized my layers. And I think most people that was the case. Yeah. You usually um, do it when you have to. Yeah. You don't do it. Or if when you're you handing don't. it off to someone else. <laughs> I stretch that out. I think I did. Yeah, the handle looks, looks weird. Is it normal? No, no, I think that oh, it is good. good. Mm -hmm. Oh, just a long handle. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so do I do the second one now so we're done? Or do I yeah, do go it? for it. Okay, and then we're gonna take elements from this page so we don't have to outline a bunch of stuff again. Yeah. Um, okay. So we've got about 14 minutes until our chat and win. Yay. And 
again if you missed the beginning of the stream um, that's where you guys have one minute to quickly chat away in the Behance chat and you have to make sure you're logged in in order to win and um, then we'll choose one of you and you can win a hundred free custom sticker mule stickers so that's pretty cool and even if you don't win we still have a code for you um, that you can get I believe it's 10 stickers for a dollar <laughs> wow, Justin says, yeah, wow, blowing my mind in all caps. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I want stickers And too. Kamisha says, thanks for showing this. And Didn't I'm doing another one now. XD. I'm yeah, doing another, another one. So now I'm like cutting. Uh, I'm not doing the handle. I'm going to do the handle mm -hmm. later. And then I'm going to talk about additions where you can like. Like Pathfinder? Add, yeah. Okay. So you're adding stuff together instead yeah. of doing subtractions. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really matter what you do. It's really about. Um, like getting it to because the nice part about XD is that with those um, Pathfinder pieces you can always go back in and take pieces out yeah um, versus I mean I keep comparing it to Illustrator but versus with Illustrator you had to um, like you couldn't take pieces apart once you've already yes expanded the path um, yeah that's the beauty of Vector Yes. But mm -hmm. Pixel is good, is good too. You can watch Brad as well. Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> for sure. Ball. It's okay. Every Everyone's friend a, here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm just biased. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, no, okay. every every software has a, a yeah. good time and a place. And there's like, yeah, exactly. There's, mm -hmm. there's like a, a best use for everything. For sure. Uh, so now instead of doing, uh, so I outlined the handle, I outlined the actual cup. And uh, instead of doing subtractions, because mm -hmm. we don't have negative space here, only traced over the positive space. Well, yeah. yeah. I, we never say positive space, do we? <laughs> positive. Positive space. Um, so we're going to do addition because we want those two shapes to come together instead mm -hmm. of removing a part of it. So it's going to be add. Again, remove the border. And then where's my cup here? And same thing, object and mask with shape. There you go, That's and good. we have a second Amazing. camp now. I think that looks nice. Yeah, I like it too. Yeah. It's really smooth. The color, wow, the, did you edit the colors of those? Or no, were I was actually really lucky. Pink? Wow, I was lucky. <laughs> I was just really lucky. Because it goes it exactly like, with the, the pink one. on the homepage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wish that one was more um, like green a little oh, bit. Oh, no, I think But I think great. it looks good. Stands out from the background. So we're going to reuse the donut because it's mm -hmm. food. And we're going to reuse the I love those donuts. cupcake here. <laughs> Do we have any? Oh, we can use a marshmallow. So for those just tuning in, um, just want to go over quickly some exciting things that we've got going on this week. So on Thursday, we're going to be doing portfolio reviews, and then we have chat and wins also, and reviewing your designs on the XD uh, Slack channel. So the Slack channel, if you might have seen it yesterday, we were doing that. Um, just like yesterday, we're reviewing your designs from the hashtag design feedback tab in Slack. And those are the last 30 minutes of our stream. And then the portfolio review, we're going to only choose two so we can really go in depth. And that's on uh, Thursday or tomorrow um, of this stream. And then the chat and win will be in about 10 minutes. So stay tuned for that. And then on Friday, we've got um, Talon Wadsworth's segment called Designing Adobe XD, and that's his 43rd episode. And then I will be a guest on that. Um, and then on Monday, we've got the XD creative, Daily Creative Challenge going on. So very busy this week. Mm -hmm. uh, Lena's saying, I want some marshmallows now. I know, me too. <laughs> this is making me hungry. I only have my coffee here. <laughs> Actually, when we were doing the question yesterday, um, during the chat and when I didn't add, I don't think I got to ask you what you always because we asked the people in the chat what they always keep on their desk while they're designing. Oh what yeah. Was your answer for that. Just average mess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no Because yeah, yesterday you kept saying you really organized like you haven't seen my desk. <laughs> like my desk is a mess. But you're good about backing up. You were saying. Yeah, I'm good at like organizing every day. stuff. Like in my laptop, but yeah. like w anything that's like outside of mm -hmm. digital stuff, it's terrible. I um, have to force myself to clean all the time. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Keita's asking, she's got a question for Meg. Yes. What resources or tools do you use <clears throat> to choose your color schemes? Or is it just, um, just comes to you in a dream? 
I just try things. Mm -hmm. But when you don't know what to do, uh, there's a website, I think that's called colors dot mm -hmm. something. And it's a colors like spelled like the UK way. Mm -hmm. And um, that is, you're probably gonna find it if you look for it on Google. And it's, it's like, well, actually we can look for it now. I mm -hmm. have the internet. Uh, Color.adobe.com. Oh, I think it's coolers. Oh, that was the old coolers. one. Coolers. Oh, there's a new one. Mm -hmm. I think it's just color. I have it. Adobe .com. I have it. That oh, one? that's a different one. I used okay. to use that like years ago. Um, so. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't. You're not supposed to have to log in though. Oh, you have to pay for it now. To give you an idea, that's what it was in the past. Um, but so there's lots of free. Yeah, it's it was um, like a, a full screen thing, generators. and you tap mm -hmm. space, okay. and it would like change everything, and then you would lock some colors, mm -hmm. and then you keep going until you have something that you like. Gotcha. gotcha. Um, otherwise, you can like if if there's a photo that you like, mm -hmm. you can use that photo. Okay. And that totally works. Like just like pick colors mm -hmm. from that photo, like like you're doing with the donut there. Maybe picking the pinks. Yeah, exactly. Or so mm -hmm. it's it's. When you find something, just keep it, and and then you're gonna yeah. have a, a palette that magically comes in. <laughs> the one that I it. really like is um, the mobile app, the Cap Adobe Capture app, mm -hmm. and that one you can just hold it up to literally anything, and it grabs colors from your environment. So that one is really oh, cool. Oh, that's great. I use that all the time, and it also does patterns too, um, and type. It'll find type mm -hmm. from like magazines or whatever. Got a lot of different features. Don't remember exactly what. So um, we have something here that I never had, that I never actually did. So yeah. we'll see if I can figure it out. <laughs> okay, what's um, that? Something so like because we outlined it, yeah, because uh, we masked it, <clears throat> uh, you can add a shadow to it, to the group. So mm. let's go inside of it and see if we can. I don't know if, so that would not make sense to have a shadow over that image. So that is the, um, the vector. Um, so let's see if it Are you just trying to add a shadow to the cup? Exactly. I think it's just the first layer. Let's see, let's see. Oh, I think it's working. Is it working? We can't really see anything. Marissa says, oh. I love Adobe Capture in all caps. Same with Rochio. Sorry if I'm butchering your name. <laughs> I'm not good with names. So it's not working, so we're gonna find a loophole. Uh, <laughs> so we have the subscription. I don't know if I can take it out. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see if I can take it out. I cannot take it out. So we're gonna have to like remove, um, re ungroup the mask, take that out. Okay, now we're gonna recreate it. This is very high level loophole here. Um, mask shape, so that's the one that's under this one. We we're gonna name it, because that's, that's gonna be tricky. Um, so it's pink cup. And this one is pink up as well. Howard says you'll need to create a duplicate outside the mask and then add the shadow. Exactly. That's that's. Well, I'm not gonna add the shadow. I'm gonna add the. Oh, actually, that's a better idea. I was thinking of blurring it, but that's better. Mm. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Chat helps. <laughs> yeah. Uh, pink up mask. There we go. So Salil is asking, what artboard size do we start with for web apps? so as to make it display properly on screens of most resolutions, ranging from 720 to 4K. 720 to 4K. Hmm. I mean, I feel like I always start with 1920 by Yeah, 1080. me too. Um, well, I think I think we're kind of back to the, the safe zone topic. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really gonna depend how you build your website. Um, if you have floating elements like this, those mm -hmm. can be anchored at a specific point. So that would be, for example, uh, I want to say, so it's always like the top point, the top left point that is the reference. So mm -hmm. that would be here, I want to say like 15% down and 20-ish uh, percent um, from the right. Mm -hmm. And that's your point. So whatever your screen size is, then when you scroll, actually we can we can we can show that now. We can <laughs> show it. Responsive I'm not I'm not done with everything, but let's show it. Sure. Um, so when this is not um, on, it's your artboard that you're resizing. When it's on, so I'm doing that all, like over the entire artboard, uh, then your elements are going to move. 
And that's what's happening on the elements on the right. It's They're like cool. anchored proportionally to mm -hmm. where they were. And you're going to see that at some point it breaks. At some point, I remember, well, that one is apparently not breaking. <laughs> so um, here, like we were talking about media queries, that would be a good mm -hmm. breaking point if you okay. were to not edit this at all. Mm -hmm. And that's not super efficient because mm -hmm. we're only at uh, 1085. And 8052. Can't count them. <laughs> 1851. There you go. Uh, <laughs> uh, so that's that's not efficient. So yeah. we have to like find different ways to actually make it scale down the right way. Um, like for example, we can group that. Mm -hmm. Like group those two. Yeah. I, I think I'm I'm done with them. So I can actually. Well, Grouping first, can change the responsive resize a lot. Yeah. Depending on which elements you group. So I group this one, this one, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna show you. Well, it's not going to change anything now, but if yeah. I group those two together, mm -hmm. then it's going to change something. They're not going to like be like, squished together right. anymore. <laughs> so we ha only have to pay attention to the floating elements. That is not necessarily easy to do on XD mm -hmm. because, oh, actually, there's a way. There's a way. There's a way. Wait a second. <laughs> I have a You've way. You've got a lot of loopholes to that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Okay, I'm gonna just do the shadows first because okay. I need to group Go them together, yeah. or I'm gonna I'm gonna mess it up. <laughs> so this one uh, is gonna have to shadow. If you want to shadow an object, it has to be filled; otherwise, it's just shadowing nothing. So we're adding a shadow. Right. You can't have you can't have a shadow be blank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can here. I never tried it, but it doesn't make sense. It's not the case <laughs> in any other software. Yeah. Um, so we're picking the color of the background, and then we're going all the way darker. I think I want to make it a tiny bit colder. So I'm going to go that way. And um, what am I doing? There you go here. So we've only got about two minutes until the chat and win. Yes, so you guys have been pretty active in the chat. So just stay tuned for that. That's so fun. That's so good. There we go. And we have a shadow now. Mm -hmm. It's probably something they're gonna they're gonna add in the future though. What's that? Uh, being able to add a shadow to a now to a masked oh. element. Maybe. There's like updates very often. But I feel like you can just duplicate yeah. it. Yeah. And that's yeah. But I wouldn't be surprised mm -hmm. that that would be like updated in like yeah. you know, like a few months or something. Mm -hmm. uh, that's too high. So sixty, and not as strong. That is better. Okay, so that one is done. I need to do the same thing on that one, and then I can show you the resize thing. I'm slightly more efficient today, and I can talk at the same time. That's that's better. <laughs> no, you did great. <laughs> Everyone's first live stream is always like, you just yeah. don't know what to expect, yeah. you know? <laughs> mm, so, so, oh, Justin has a good tip. There's, um, if you're looking for free, like, stock photos, there's, he said there's free food on Adobe Stock and freepick.com. Adobe Stock, you have to pay for some of them, but I guess some of them are free. And unsplash.com, I use that all the yeah, time. Yeah, Unsplash um, is really practical. I feel like it's more of a social media that's been turned into royalty-free. Oh, even, really? It's is a it social royalty? media? Well, it's like people posting that. their own photos. Oh, so it's mm -hmm. kind of like... Yeah, getting, like photographers I mean, getting... Yeah, the other ones are the same way, but it's not as, mm -hmm. it's like more corporate looking, so yeah. it's not... It's more lifestyle photos yeah. on Unsplash. Like you which could is why I go there, those. because it's not like just people at an office, like yeah. looking fake. That fake, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know that all the photos that I have from um, my Ride Mapper mm -hmm. um, project, they're all from Unsplash. Oh, Because yeah. there's that feel mm -hmm. that's really And like, it's copyright free, so you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Okay, so we are, it is time for our chat and win. So um, if you're not logged into Behance, go ahead and log in or make an account. And we're gonna in, have one minute for you guys to go ahead and just chat, chat, chat away in the chat, and we'll pick someone who's super active. So again, you can win 100 free custom Sticker Mule stickers. Um, so let's go ahead and ask them another question so they mm -hmm. can uh, think of some, oh, oh, I have one. Mm -hmm. How about, since we're doing like sweets and like donuts and pastries, yep. what's your favorite type of pastry or sweet or just thing to snack yeah. on while you're working? I think for me it's Cheetos. <laughs> 
<laughs> what about you? It's just something sweet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, or like salty. <laughs> What's your favorite snack in general? We don't discriminate oh, don't, against snacks. I don't know mine. You don't know yours? Okay. I don't know well, mine. we're gonna go ahead and roll the video and chat away, and then we'll pick someone. crazy in the chat. <laughs> We've got vegan donuts, Mike and Ice, a whole plate, <laughs> Pringles, ooh, super spicy Doritos. Oh, yeah, any yeah. kind of chip really, I feel. Tea, kettle chips. Almonds, good choice. Snickerdoodles. And you just said yours during. Pistachios. Pistachios. Yeah. I don't like nuts, I'm not a big nut person. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be having a name pop up here shortly. Let's see who the winner was. Wendy! Wendy Martinez, congratulations! Yay! So you won 100 free stickers. So we will just be sending you a private direct message on Behance. Um, so just check out or look out for that message. But the rest of you, sorry you didn't win, but you can still go over to stickermule.com slash adobelive19 to get 10 stickers for a dollar. So that's still a good deal. That's a good deal. Know. Actually, I probably need some stickers because my laptop is just like very bare. <laughs> At least you have a nice Yeah, I just have a giant one. <laughs> yeah. Although I've had companies being mad because I wouldn't put their sticker on my laptop. I'm oh. like, I'm not, I'm not messing what? up my beautiful no. cover. <laughs> no. That's silly. <laughs> yeah, it's like a car. Like, do you want to really ruin it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, I like putting stickers on other things like, I don't know like planners and things like that. Yeah. But like I get new ones all the time. Very much so. Well, thanks for chatting away. Ooh, brownies. We're still getting some people um, saying what their yeah, favorite I'm still interested snack in food is. Too. I know. <laughs> did we do, no, we didn't do food yesterday. I think we just talked about food. No, we just talked about the desk yesterday, yes. right? Things you have on your desk, yeah. that was our question. Yeah. So we're working on the drop shadows. Yes, and We've because I- some good tips on those. And because I took those ones from the other artboard, mm -hmm. uh, we need to change the color of the shadow uh, because it's okay. all purple. So gotcha. it needs to go around that to actually make sense with the rest of it. Mm -hmm. um, and what we need to, do, oh, responsive resize. That's what we're doing. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, so first of all, I need to group the ones, um, those ones with the shadow. And I think as far as like best tips for responsive resize, um, like I know one best tip is just try to start with mobile and then work your way up. Um, I do the other way around. Oh, really? I always do the other way around. Really? You start with yeah. like web Yeah, because I feel like you mm -hmm. need to fill the space and you have to be more mm -hmm. creative with the bigger one and then you can mm -hmm. always remove stuff or like yeah. readjust them. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, I don't have any ideas if I start on mobile. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what do I do with all that space? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so also in responsive resize, um, I know Meg was showing you can group certain items together, and you can also uh, change from auto to manual. Yes. <clears throat> and, and then you can, yeah. like, um, uh, like, pin certain items if you want to be keep a certain item at the top left mm -hmm. or bottom right, um, so it doesn't like move with the rest of the items. Yeah. So and grouping and the pinning in the auto versus manual toggle. And you're gonna also toggle that. Mm -hmm. And then it's gonna change, then it's gonna scale instead of it, yeah. instead of being grouped. Oh no, the mask messed oh. up. <laughs> that makes sense though, because it's a vector shape mm. and the shapes are actually changing. Mm -hmm. So that makes sense. So. For the future, kids, don't, don't do that. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> don't, don't do your masking here in Vector. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I'm pretty sure we can't write rasterize anyway, so. Yeah, I don't think so. I messed up, okay. No, <laughs> so no, it's okay, we, we learned we're something. We're keeping it at that size right now. Uh, so. Yeah, we're gonna keep it at that mm -hmm. size, but uh, at least you know that <clears throat> it's not working. Um, which so makes sense, actually, so it's okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you don't want them to move around or like to be anchored, mm -hmm. uh, you just uh, toggle this off and it's just gonna scale up and down instead of moving with the page. Mm -hmm. um, Good tip. 
Yeah. Oh, and the menu. And now we, what you need to do for the menu, also I forgot something. With the responsive resize, what happens is if you still have a grid, mm -hmm. um, your grid is going to remain like this, have the same spacing until you actually um, ungroup the grid and then your your menu items are going to collapse together. Okay. So if you have enough spacing and it works, that's great. If mm -hmm. it's if it's not, you're going to have to do it manually. Um, but I mean, that's that's a common thing that we see on other streams. So should I show it? I don't know if I show it. Basically, yeah, we, go for it. it would do that instead. If you mm -hmm. when you ungroup, it's going to it's going to act that way gotcha. as you scale down. So, oh yeah, so the menu. We don't know where we are, so we need to do uh, something on the menu to actually show um, where we are. We have to like do something here. I don't have an idea yet, but we'll find something. <laughs> Why don't we ask the chat? <laughs> yeah, what would you think? So what are you trying to add on the menu? Um, just like show that this is the active page that we're on oh, in okay. the menu. Well, I would think just change it a different color probably. So for that, you have to double click down into it for each one, yeah. I think we have. The other ones. Mm, I think we're gonna have a shape behind it though instead. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, like a button. Yeah. Or yeah, I feel like either colors or buttons or like a line underneath is usually yeah. the way I show that it's you know a different state than the others. Well, first of all, we need a shadow on this anyway. I don't know. Was it better when it was dark? I'm not sure. What do you guys think in the chat? Did you like it dark better or light? I think the dark adds more contrast, personally. Yeah. Because the, the blue is pretty pale, so. Tim saying, underline it, and you could auto-animate that line. That'd be cool. Yeah. Nice little touch. Mm. Well, let's see. So Ajit is asking where you can find uh, UI design jobs. Um, that's a good like. There's topic. some on like, Behance actually. There's yeah, jobs there's on Behance. Yeah, there's some on Behance. Like job. wait, like when you're searching for a job, um, where have you gone in the past? Um, actually, Behance is my my go-to. I'm not mm -hmm. saying that because I'm on I'm on the live. Yeah. I'm actually checking out Behance first. Yeah. Uh, second is usually Dribble. Mm -hmm. Third is Angelist, and fourth okay. would be LinkedIn. Okay. Depends if you want to work in a startup or not. Mm -hmm. But sometimes bigger companies are also on on AngelList. So where do you go for startups versus? So startups is AngelList. Okay. Um, and what's really practical with AngelList is that mm -hmm. you can actually see their funding, uh, oh. and see the size of the company, oh, so okay. that you can have an idea of mm -hmm. what their their stage is. Mm -hmm. And and if you're if you're not scared about losing your job, it's if it doesn't really like matter to you, you yeah. want the experience, then you can try like a recently founded like. Like startups with, with like maybe mm -hmm. ten ish people or like okay. even maybe less. That's fine. Yeah. Um. If you if you want experience mm -hmm. as a company like like early employee or like early founder, you can uh -huh. also have find those jobs in um on AngelList as well. Okay. So it's it's pretty much for, I want to say everything, but traditional mm -hmm. job search. Okay. On and Angelist. I mean, yeah, and the, mm -hmm. the the funding is not really accessible in other platforms. So I know you can see some on like Glassdoor. Yeah, true. Um, Glassdoor is a good point for like average salaries, but that one's a little hit or miss. Sometimes they don't have it. Um, yeah, and it's not necessarily the like the investors, like mm -hmm. the amount that was invested in it. And usually gotcha. it's like, oh, like I don't know, twenty twenty million got in, mm -hmm. or like. If if they have like one round of twenty million that happened like a really long time ago, mm -hmm. and they're sustaining, that's that's a, usually a pretty good sign. It means that they're not draining mm -hmm. money. Yeah. And if if it's like twenty million, like every I don't know every six months, mm -hmm. and the company is still pretty small, mm -hmm. that's kind of like a warning sign. So okay. if you get a little bit like educated on I that, I never even think about the, things like that. But yeah, that's why it's so you can really right. like go into it and go into their finances and yeah. be like, let's see if those spendings make sense. Right, right. Uh, because you wouldn't you wouldn't like take a new round if you don't need any money because mm -hmm. you're like diluting your. This is like welcome to financial. <laughs> <life>. <laughs> We're talking stocks today. We're not talking creative anymore. Stocks and finances. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. but, I mean, it's good to know these things kind of when you're thinking about job searching. and Yeah. And also I think it's different personally for me, like if you're just out of school versus if you're like five years out of school, um, like how much experience you have. Um, sometimes I think just like networking with people you know if you're, you know, 
like five years or more out of school is sometimes better. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'd say for me, probably like uh, Behance, Dribble. Those are probably the main ones. Yeah. Um, LinkedIn, I feel like recruiters will just like, I just never know about recruiters, um, just like messaging me, but um, yeah. It's, it's good and to try it, everything. The thing anyway. is, it never hurts to just like reach out to people on Twitter. It's, I know I was like, I feel like I'm a Twitter evangelist. Like, <laughs> and I, yesterday I was talking about Twitter and how it's great for the design community, but um, like it really is, you can find, you know, people that work at whatever company that you want to work at and reach out to them on Twitter, um, see if they have any openings. So with social media, I feel like it's a lot yeah. easier these days. Well, not easier, but there's a lot more avenues maybe. What I feel like is, is easier in general though is like when you're out of school. Oh, really? Yeah. For entry like, level? Yeah, I've hmm. seen like people that would get, I, I had a friend that was looking for a job. Uh, I want to say not exactly senior level but mm -hmm. really close to it okay i and felt like it was harder at a school personally oh really <laughs> yeah oh that's interesting <laughs> but yeah i've seen like many like mm. like recent graduate get jobs like in mm. two months or something wow and um if if, if you're new to the, the job world that's actually pretty good oh yeah <laughs> so, yeah <laughs> um yeah. yeah i'm just messing around here yeah but yeah just just try everything see what you like best mm -hmm. Like there's no there's no rule and like sometimes it's just like if you know someone and know someone that is willing to like back you up and be like hey mm -hmm. I trust that person and go to other people and like hey do you need someone that's also like r referrals are actually really a really important oh, for point sure. for sure yeah so if you don't like people mm -hmm. you're gonna have to <laughs> I know I had to you're do it have to. <laughs> <laughs> I know I had to do it <laughs> oh, I really want to talk anyways. I just love it. <laughs> life lessons here today yep. folks <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like in the chat people are talking about the number of screens that xd can handle um yeah howard's saying we frequently use fires files with well over 100 artboards yeah and xd handles it beautifully that's why it's so minimal mm -hmm. i feel like because that way it can handle way more way more screen than other maybe i don't know yeah i don't know how they do it's, it it's but very light it really is it it I haven't felt it, that it slows down at any point. No, and I mean, um, it's mostly vector. That's not heavy. Yeah. I guess if you have really, like, really, really big A images in there, photos. that might actually yeah, be Yeah, I haven't tried it with that, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, vector is not. Uh, I think... I don't know if I remember correctly, but um, the big city that I showed yesterday, mm -hmm. um, that was, like, full vector, when I remove every pixel element, mm -hmm. element was, like... Oh, from your portfolio? Yeah, I think okay. maybe, and it's huge, and I think it was like 10 MB or something. Wow. And it's And there's shadows and everything. Huh. Uh, 10 MB, yeah. That's, wow. that's a lot. I don't know how, how many, like, paths there is, but it was very extensive. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to really, like, do too much vector. Your computer is made for it, so mm -hmm. it's all good. Yeah. Oh, that's very you. What, the colors? The the slight shadow in the back that's very smooth. <laughs> that is me. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's my style. I, I tr I'm I loving started. this so far. The color palette. I don't like that. The color. logo. There's a slight difference between the monitor and my laptop, and I'm like... Oh. <laughs> I'm like comparing, and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, well. So don't forget, guys, in about 45 minutes, we've got our design feedback where we'll go on Slack and... We'll look for um, some of the XD daily creative challenges that you guys have made last week. So um, I'll be looking through some of those during the stream and um, then we'll pick a few and give you guys feedback and um, hopefully you can learn something new from them. I'm excited about that. Anna says, I love the floating food elements on the website. It's so playful. It really is. And it's very easy to do too. So yeah. try it, it's fun. <laughs> I feel like I'm selling candy here. <laughs> here. Um, okay, this one is not big enough. We're getting somewhere. So where are you guys from in the chat? Oh yeah, I wanna know is that. Is it morning, night, where you're from? I know we're like streaming all over the globe today, so 
Um, let us know. That's what I love about this time of the day because Europe can watch it easily. Yeah, because it's, it's like not too late. six. Yeah, what time? Six, is seven p.m. Something like that. There? Maybe eight. Okay. Tops. Yeah, not too bad. Just after dinner. Yeah. Or maybe with dinner. This would be a good thing to watch yeah. during dinner. <laughs> Some d design and dinner. Okay, I think I like it that way. It's yeah, just that looks good. It's just that I have shadows and not glows, and now it's like too glowy. <laughs> I'm not annoying. Not at all. Okay, I like that more. Sold. <laughs> I'm not touching it anymore. There you Looks go. Looks good. That's just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so people are saying, uh, Marissa is from Chandler, Arizona. Mm. We've got Malik Rivers. It's morning. Oh, sorry, that's the same person. Morning in Chandler, Arizona. St. Louis. Hey, there Another you go. St. Louis. I'm from St. Louis. Chili. It's 13, 15 here. I don't know. Like, we're on a 12-hour schedule, so I don't know what time that is exactly. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, 13? Yeah. That's 1 p.m. Oh, okay. Allie said it's 10, 15 p.m. here. Wow, late. Oh, yeah, it's 7, 7, 15 in Berlin. Wow. There you go. Pakistan, New York, Casablanca. Wow. Oh, I just watched that movie <laughs> recently, actually. Aspen, Colorado, it's mid-morning from Anna. I'm so glad that you guys are all joining us, whatever time it is. Afternoon, 8, 15 p.m. in Athens. Nice. 3 a.m.? Go to bed, oh, Simon. Wow. What are you doing? In no, Australia? keep watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, we're honored that you're staying yeah. up so late, I guess. <laughs> Dean from Nigeria. It's 6, 6 17 p.m. here. Sidra, Harvard, Massachusetts. Jose's from Cuba. Wow. All over. That's very tropical. I love it. So you're adding some, oh, you're adding some pink? Maybe? Yeah, I think to I'm gonna sides? try something and see what it, nice. see what it does. See what happens. <laughs> Monterey Bay, Trudy. Yay. Monterey Bay has this really cool, I think it's Monterey Bay, half marathon. Um, and then, I because I was looking at half marathons around the uh, US, mm -hmm. and this is random, but um, it's okay, we talked about financial point, earlier. So you oh, wait, <laughs> actually, it's a full marathon. And at the halfway point, they have a piano, just like a guy playing on the piano. It's right by the Bixby Bridge, if you've heard of that. Oh, wow. Um, oh, that's cool. I like it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that looks great. Okay, I think that really helps the logo stand out. Yeah, that's why I did it, because mm -hmm. it, it was kind of like hidden in over there. Uh, yes, marathons. Go ahead. Um, Anna's asking, Meg, are the photos of the food pixel or vector? It's hard to tell. <laughs> uh, it's it's uh, pixel. Pixel. Yeah, usually you can't really get that level of detail. Not detail, yeah. but like smoothness mm -hmm. and like realism with vector. Um, except maybe sometimes on my YouTube channel. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, uh, Meg has a YouTube channel. But it's not. It's not <laughs> like. Definitely check it out. Photorealistic is really hard to do, yeah. and it's not. It's not even worth it, really, because like For you can't. Yeah, on. you can't really compress your images and yeah. and make sure that. By the way, compression. I'm 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 called the compression police. Oh at, really? At Why every is that? job that I have because well I page speed is the number one um, oh. key point that you mm -hmm. have and people don't do you compress have any tips their images. For... Yes I do. Oh okay. Um, so let us hear them. <laughs> unless you need transparency, mm -hmm. always go for JPEG. Oh really? Yes. Cause okay, like, I use transparent images all the time. So yeah. That's good to know. And then even when you're done with that, you can use compressors. So mm -hmm. there's a bunch of compressors online. There's mm -hmm. one that's called compressor.io. Okay. You can get like up to like 80% down in size. Okay. And I know I always use smallpdf.com <laughs> for compressing my PDFs at least. Yeah. I, I'm sure images. Yeah, it's the same thing. Well. Like it's going to mm -hmm. change everything. And yeah. I, I have on Mac, where is it? Um, Optimage. It's, okay. I think, $15. Okay. I use it all the time. Really? And what's great is that you can okay. drop your own images, and it's oh. not going to give you another version. Gotcha. It's going to, like, change it, change, okay. like, the actual file. Hmm. So you don't have to, like, right. have doubles of everything. Right, right. Um, and that's, sometimes developers don't do that. Mm -hmm. they, don't, they have better things to do than actually compressing images. So it's kind of like, to, I think it's on us to do it. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. I think um, so. Yeah. So... 
No transparent images. Try to compress them as much as possible. If they're transparent, it's PNG. If it doesn't have PNG. transparency, okay. then JPEG is okay. way better. That's good tips. Um, and sometimes if you're trying to compress graphics, mm -hmm. um, if it looks bad once compressed, mm -hmm. then use PNG. And only mm -hmm. then, but always try. Okay. Um, I don't know if Behance compresses images. I don't think so. But I know that I always compress them because the, the loading is, I mean, I can see that it's faster. Oh, OK. So. Oh, good tip. Yeah. It really Very changes everything. And if there's people that don't have like good like 5G or 4G, so. That's true. That's just consider that's true. it. My own website is pretty slow right now, so. Compress I have to figure that out. <laughs> yeah. I have, Maybe that's why. My score on my website is, um, have you used the Google Speed, a uh, speed light score yes. or something? Mine yeah, is I haven't 90. checked that in a while. 90? It's 90 that's for, good. Wow. Uh, for your own website? Yeah. Wow. And that's really good. I think my mobile's better. Okay. I forgot. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's like full of images, and so you can actually wow. make it work with images too. Good Just to have know. to compress everything. That's a really good tip. Anna says, "Great, thank you, Meg. Uh, photorealism. Oh, this is back to the pixels. Oh, okay. Photorealism has always fascinated me. I use PNG more than JPEG, but that's good to know in a rule of thumb." And you. I'm pretty sure if you're trying to get a job um, in UI UX and mm -hmm. you say that in like a technical interview. I mean that like, that's the type of thing that can about, yeah. that can actually give you the job that's because true. like developers don't want to do it right, and right. it's really considerate of their own job. So mm -hmm, for sure. Yeah. Definitely. And Dean says tinypng.com is yes. also good for image compression. Yes. There there Thank there's, you for the there's, tips, there's guys. so many of them that are really good. But yeah, I like having it on my desktop. It took me like months to actually think of that. I don't know why. <laughs> then I was like, wait a second. I can just download something, drop them in yeah. and not have to use my my browser and like put them in like one right. after the other. <laughs> There's one that does batches, but I forgot. Yeah. I forgot the name. Um, so I think we're good with that one. Well, I am faster today. Yay. Um, yeah, so we're going to move to that one. Are we done with questions? I forgot. Uh, yeah, you can okay. go on yeah. to the next page like, if you want. I'm actually really excited for this page because you got the cat profiles. Yes. And I was looking at the profiles of the cat yes. yesterday and picking out which one was my favorite. Yes. So let's see what you got. <laughs> oh, uh, when you compress images, does it affect the appearance? When it's properly made, no. Okay. Uh, what platform do I use for my website? Oh my god, this is going extensive. I have uh, uh, WordPress, and um, my theme is called Semplus. Um, it was built or well, initiated by the previous lead of oh, Spotify. Tobias. Yes, Tobias. Yeah, I forgot his name, yeah, last name, yeah. but yeah. Uh, he's the one that, that was, I think, mm -hmm. the first one. Created it. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, and it's a, it's a really good one. It's $130, I think, though. Oh. But I mean, I think, I think it's worth it. Mm -hmm. um, where am I going? There you go. Um, do, do I recommend WordPress? No. But, <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> absolutely not. Um, and there's custom coding on top of it. Right. There, I, I still do some stuff on top We were of talking it. about this yesterday, and I mean, I started out trying to learn how to code, and um, oh, yeah. like I knew, like just the basics, but after a while I've learned that I'm just like not interested in that, and I think if you're, oh, yeah, that's if you're just not interested in it, like. Just don't do it. I mean, it's good to, it's a good skill to know, yeah. and like be able to converse with developers and understand like the limitations of a design. Um, but don't blame yourself for not being interested and don't force it. Yeah, so now I just, um, I don't like use a website platform that you have to code the whole thing by yourself. Like you can use Behance for your yeah. portfolio site. And, and, and there's uh, lots of free ones Adobe out there. portfolio. Mm -hmm. I mean, Adobe if you're, portfolio, if you have, the, yeah, for sure. if you're on Creative Cloud, like it's mm -hmm. there. Uh, so yeah. why not use it? And But like you, for instance, you're really interested in developing. So, yeah. you know. I, I I'm not gonna say I like that more than design, but yeah, it's not it's, it's really not far behind. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's why I like learning too. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's what I'm gonna end up going towards in the future. Oh anyway. really? Yeah. More well, like be more. like a hybrid, uh, and okay. do like most like, like visual experience. That would be because that's something oh. developers are not really good at. Oh, so you want to go more towards yeah design and like really okay. creative CSS or like. Um, okay. Like even like sometimes you need JavaScript for it, but mm -hmm. it's 
I don't know, like they're really being really good visually and coding is extremely rare. Oh, yeah. So if you have some, because it, you have to like loophole shit again. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends okay. won the bet. Um, you have to, I got too comfortable. Um, <laughs> yeah, you have to loophole things. Yeah. And, um, and that's when it becomes interesting to have like a visual sense because mm. you're gonna look for those loopholes and the sure. developer wouldn't. So sure. yeah. So we're gonna pick the favorite cats now. Yay! Uh, that go. You know what I miss in Mac OS? That little slider. I think it was in mm. Snow Leopard where we could like scale up all the images and, and yeah. then, why did they remove it? It's not because now because you have to go into like view. Yeah, the and view then, and then like the yeah. rotator thing. Yeah, no, thank you. Which one is your favorite? This one, right? Yes. Okay, so that's oh, going to be a permanent one. resident. <laughs> uh, like, <laughs> mine is that one. Um, I like that one too. That one looks like an idiot, so we're going to keep it for the <laughs> other one because it's really funny. Uh, there you go. And that's what I love. Yes. If you haven't done that before, so cool. it's amazing. So you just literally pull up your finder and drag them right into the yeah. um, When it's circles. a grid. Yeah. When it's a grid. Yeah, and it, just in the first one, you're like, we're going to mm -hmm. do it again for the second one. Yeah. Um, we're gonna because otherwise you'd have to drag each one in separately, clip and mask each one of them into a circle. Yeah, drag it into the right place. So it saves a lot of time. Actually, we're gonna do a style the first one. Okay. So that we're gonna be able to like duplicate that, mm -hmm. put it here, and then the styling is gonna be done, and we don't have to do it twice. Okay. Um, Sounds good. So who wants to name the cats? <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah okay. This is a great opportunity for you guys to. <laughs> yeah. Be a part of Meg's design. You so can let name us your know what you one. think. Um, What's your favorite one's name? Sprinkles. That's Sprinkles. what my cat's name is. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh my, that makes so much sense. I wanted something silly, you know. Yeah. Mine is Merlin. Oh, that's cute. Because she looks like the beard from oh. like, the, the sword and rose. Yes. Rose and the sword. I forgot. Yeah. One of those. Mm -hmm. um, this one looks like my pre previous one. What do you guys think? We need some names. No we need names. a name for the middle one. <laughs> and then we're going to need more names for the second yeah. one. Constantine. <laughs> That's cute. Wait, is Con Constantine the black one or the the, um, uh, the tabby one? Bunny. Brad Kitt. Oh my Brad god, Kitt. that's so funny. Oh, I like that, like celebrity names for cats. Let's Bob, Meowerly, Holly, oh my god. Buddy. Oh, that's going to be fun. Very cute. Mr. Pounce. So are you gonna add a little um, Constantine works for that like one. bio beneath each or something? Yes. Or what do you think is gonna be on the rest of this? Who, runs, who wants to write the copy? <laughs> <laughs> um, Pepper. Yeah. I was thinking of three mm -hmm. um, adjectives for mm -hmm. each, oh, so that yeah. we know their personality like types playful, right away. Um, yeah. So that when people get to the cafe, totally. they can be like, oh, mm -hmm. that one fits what I want. Right. Their personality. Yeah. Like Magical if there's one that's kind of like playful and you don't like playful cats. Yeah. <laughs> like, you don't like the playful ones? No, I don't like the ones that get so excited they really hurt you. Gotcha. And, and my cat bites, but like very gent um, like in a very gentle way. Yeah, yeah. And then she's like, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna be mean now, I'm gonna walk away. <laughs> okay, we're getting lots of great names. We've got uh, Meowlevolent, Meowlevolent, Cat Damon, Pinks. Chairman Meow. Patches, that's a cute one. Patches. Snowball. <laughs> Fuzz Aldrin. That's very great. <laughs> Ferdinand. <laughs> oh, Cataly Portman. Oh my god. White Sox. Santa Claus. Kitty Parade, that's a great one. Oh. <laughs> wow, we've got lots of great names. You yeah. guys are good at this. <laughs> Do I want it pink? Is it, it's too pink. Eh, whatever. Whatever you think. What do you guys think? Know. Pink? I, I remember the, the, the comment yesterday that said that it was too feminine. Not too feminine, but it was more for a feminine audience. Mm. So now I'm like, I'm going to add more blue for <laughs> you. <laughs> I did like the gray, actually, but up to you. Love that eye, eye dropper tool. Yeah. I see sometimes that you have to like keep it, like hold it down and then drag it. And that's really mm. annoying. And you're just clicking. Yeah. There you go. Um. I don't know, I feel like that blue is a little harsh when it's like filled, but maybe there's mm. gonna be more stuff around it. Well, if you had the drop shadows on the cards, then it probably would be. True, that's true. As like. Yeah, like clashing. Mm -hmm. So. Actually, I feel like this would be a good for 
tomorrow or whenever you get to the animating. I feel like this page would be good for animating if you can like swipe through the top row versus the second row or something. For mobile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jude Paw. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do Cute here? Names. Um, mm -hmm. We're gonna we're gonna like go back to all of that because we have I think nine more cats to name. So. Oh okay. We, we have some now. Um, what I'm gonna do now because I have a title and I'm gonna have the title here as well okay. is to make a symbol out of it, which is my favorite thing. Good you heard call. me yesterday. <laughs> and then. So when you click the symbol, mm -hmm. you're on the symbol. You need to okay. be on this one to add effects to the actual text because that's the actual text, not the right. symbol. Right. That's just like a grouper. Um, it's be yeah, it's basically like a group that is a So you're type. saying you go into the layers panel to retype something yeah. instead of... Or you can double click again okay. and then you're at the same stage. Yeah. But I don't like to select it like that. So I don't know. I yeah. like it. it's, it's like... <laughs> not editable from there, like the text and not the rest of it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to add a shadow to that one too. Mm -hmm. Wow, Muhammad, he said this is his first time watching any live session on Behance. Yay. Wow. No pressure for us. Who Rate your experience, job? please. <laughs> 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 right. <laughs> yeah, so for those of you just tuning in, this is a Cat Cafe website, and it's going to be mobile as well, so... Um, Meg did the home page and she had a bunch of floating elements, so cats and pastries and donuts and everything. And then she uh, did the menu page and that had all the prices for the pastries and all the other food items. And then right now we're doing the uh, residence, so you, you can adopt the cats or you can just see the ones that are permanent residents. And she's going to add little um, adjectives under each one on each of those cards. Mm -hmm. So it's looking great. The title is bothering me. <laughs> uh, I might do the same thing I did here, but okay. I don't want it to look like a button. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try something. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. Ali said it's his first time too. Oh wow! Wow! Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> <sighs> so we need this to be out of the cat's thing. No here, no here, there you go. So what other, um, besides, oh, okay, I guess the last one is, oh, we have events and contact that yeah. are the other two. And features. events is like fairly mm -hmm. straightforward. It's just gonna be a little bit of, of okay. selling on the text. Yeah. Uh, and then the last one, yeah. I'm still going to be slow, but it's not so oh, as no, slow no, as take yesterday. Your time. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone works at different speeds, you know? Yeah. And I think it's good to show and there's a lot that of there's questions. a variety. I was not expecting that. Yeah, you guys are asking <laughs> so many. That's great. I think, I think yeah. that's great that you guys are active in the chat. So just to remind you guys, in about 27 minutes, we're going to be doing our design reviews on Slack. Um, so if you did one of the daily creative challenges, uh, just go ahead and post it um, so I can see who did them. And then we'll pull them up and we'll give you guys some feedback um, and see what things you can improve, do better. Um, and yeah, it's, it's always good to see what you guys are creating. Yeah, and I, I feel like feedback is good for everyone because like, like something that you hear on someone else's work Mm -hmm. and is useful for yours too because in to some extent oh, yeah. you're also doing the same yeah, thing. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. So, mm, I am not satisfied with myself right now. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'll go ahead and start looking for some, yeah. some designs that we want to review on Slack. Let's see. I don't want to make like a big card though. I was just thinking about that. I don't want mm. a card like that goes all around it. That mm -hmm. might be like that might break the Im immersiveness of everything. Gotcha. Let's see, I don't know. I like the individual cards. Well, I don't need the grid anymore because my mm -hmm. elements are set, so we're good. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's too much. It's too like old. Okay. Muhammad. Yeah, you can go ahead and ask questions. Um, he likes the background color. <laughs> cool. Yay. Problem solved. 
Well, I'm gonna move up to the cards instead and then go back to the title. <laughs> um, oh, I forgot to do something that I wanted to do on the oh, other awesome. ones. Um, that would actually fill the space here because maybe it's a spacing issue. That, I mean, mm -hmm. it's a, it's too empty. Yeah. Um, so what I like to do a lot, that's a good tip when you don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. So either waves, like this, or <laughs> what's funny is that I still have like previous companies that message me like, hey, did you train that person because they're putting waves everywhere. Oh. <laughs> you love waves. They're using your, your signature style. They're using your tip for like, I don't know what to do, so I'm gonna put a wave here. When in doubt, um, use a wave. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, for me, it's when in doubt, use a drop shadow. <laughs> that's too. A very subtle drop shadow. <laughs> that too. But I feel like things are going away from drop shadows this year, especially. It's going back to flat. Yeah, I know. Because last year was the year of like mock ups, like iPhone mock ups, lots of drop shadows behind those, and like isometric. Um, and I feel like this year it's more just like straight on flat. Yeah. Actually, I did a video about what I think the design trends for 2019 are going to be. Mm -hmm. So you can check that out on my YouTube channel. Yay. Shameless plug. <laughs> <laughs> No, what about you guys? Do you have any uh, trends that you think will be happening this year? I've seen a lot of like floating people, which I'm not crazy about, but floating um, people. Yeah, like for illustrations and. Oh, and, that's a good point. And a lot of uh, like dark, dark themes versus the white themes. Uh, yes, people are going to dark. Hello, <laughs> sweet our cats. <laughs> um. Yeah, so that's usually what I do. Why is it and on Meg top? has a YouTube channel as well. Yes, sure I have a YouTube channel. Out. What's your the name? Uh, of Meg Worland is my name. Oh, it's just, just your name. Yeah. Okay. Name. Um, so this is gonna be a slightly different color than the background, but enough to be like just visible. Yes, okay. just visible, and that makes it already more like less empty. Mm. Um. I'm confused. It's here. Why is that under it? Hmm. Do you understand this? <laughs> oh yeah, it should be. It's weird, huh? Oh, cause the rectangle. The re bring it below the rectangles, right? Uh, oh, that's true. I thought the rectangle was my background and oh, I used the, okay. the actual artboard background. That's why. Yeah, there we go. There you go. Oh my God, that was, what is happening? <laughs> um, yeah, so it's a little more full now. I actually wanted to add it everywhere. Like the page section, mm -hmm. the page name have it like somewhere on every page. Yeah, usually when something is boring it's because it's lacking dimension. So like having something mm -hmm. behind it helps. Um, I, I think that's too high and that's my problem. Yes, that's better. So we've got about 22 minutes until the design feedback. So again, just Already? go ahead and post oh your God. If you did any of the daily creative challenges, go ahead and post those on Slack. I'm looking through them right now. <laughs> I feel like we went through a lot of these yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, we, we did, did a lot of them yesterday. Mm -hmm. Looks great. So now you're adding the like adjectives yeah. right, for each of them. Hmm. I'm gonna pick another text from another page because it's not working well. So what are you guys working on? Let me know in the chat. If you're at work, if you're a student, um, are you working on anything design related? Uh, let us know. We'd love to hear what everyone else is working on. And if you missed yesterday's stream, um, you can see Go ahead and check that one out. Meg showed her low fidelity wireframes that she sketched out. So that's kind of interesting to see. Um, oh, walk yeah. through those, yeah. And she made the homepage. So definitely be sure to check that one out. Yeah, 
it's weird because I'm like, I'm making a new size of text, and in my head I'm like, I'm making a new CSS class. Do I really mm, need it? Yes. The developer mindset. <laughs> yes. Like, is it a good idea? Right, yes, you right. have to. Stop Always it. like thinking twice before you have to make another. Yes. Um, like header size. Yeah. yeah. So it's good it's to think. Easier. I always forget about that, but yeah. What's your general rule of thumb for like how many? header sizes that you don't want to go over. I feel like it's like six in general. Yeah, I think this the, the regular system of like mm -hmm. H1 to six mm -hmm. is um, is pretty good. Yeah. But you usually don't go all the way to six. If yeah. you do it properly, you don't need, yeah, you don't need for more sure. than six. I, I try to pick, personally, I try to pick a font that you can have like one thin, one wide, and one just like normal font. So maybe the wide you use for like the headers, uh, the header font, the H1, and then um, the medium you use for the body copy, and the thin is for like the subtext. So just yeah. one font that has lots of different su variable sizes. Um, yeah. That's how I usually pick my fonts. I usually pick two, mm -hmm. but only in one weight. So usually mm -hmm. the title is like bold and that's okay. it. And then I usually have two uh, text fonts. Or I have uh, like a title that's bold, a title mm -hmm. that's light, okay. and then just a text font. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a good way to do it. Dean says he's currently working on a mobile app for a bank. That's cool. Ooh, nice. Look back to financial. Yeah. Kanisha Patterson, she's trying to decide if going back to school to get a master's in human centered design is the best course of action for me. That's a hard decision. Um, or just self-taught practice and finding a role. I'm a big fan of self-taught, but. Yeah. Because I actually went to school for um, just like general graphic design. It mm -hmm. wasn't specific in anything. And then I kind of like found my way into visual design, visual experience design, and then I worked on projects where like UX and wireframing and research was involved. So like I helped out the other designers. So that's how I kind of learned. Mm -hmm. And I think having mentors also really helps, um, especially early on in your, in your career. Yeah. And Behance does, honestly. That's, yeah. that's what I use. Yeah, I like, would just post mm -hmm. everything on Behance and then people Getting would give feedback. me feedback. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm going to have to break the grid. Okay. It's okay, it's not, it's not. <laughs> I'm always like, is it the right time? I don't know. <laughs> um, so, oh, quick question. Yes. Someone's asking if there's any template files that can be downloaded. I wonder if he, Simon's asking about this one. Are you gonna put this one up somewhere or no, do you think? I don't know how to do it. If I can, um, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep you posted. <laughs> it's not gonna be perfect, but if you wanna look at it, that's fine. Um, Oh, maybe it's the first one. That's why I'm so confused. There you go. That makes sense. Here we go. So this one is... So Constance is gentle. Gentle. Very yes. cute. <laughs> gentle soul. And I'm going to change the size depending on the object. Okay. Uh, depending on the, the size of the text. So mm -hmm. it's not too, like, always the same. And there's a little bit of, like, I don't know how to say it. But it's not, like, too robot-y. Mm, like, okay and all planned. So Kanisha said, Andrea and Maggie too are amazing. Thank you for recognizing my question, Andrea. Shucks, that's what we're here to do. <laughs> Tim said you can embed working prototypes on Behance. Ooh. So yeah, the, the Ooh, first one that we reviewed yesterday had the clickable prototype, so that was oh, awesome. Oh yeah, I can put it on Behance. I'm, I'm still like, a few projects <laughs> down, but like, I think I have two more that I need to post that are not yeah. on yet. Yeah, uh, that was a backlog. Yeah. So we've only got uh, like 15 minutes until our design feedback, okay. so be sure to stay tuned for that. Mohammed said he's working as a web and UI designer. Yay. Um, I wanted to ask, how can we keep bringing new ideas while on projects, sometimes similar projects? Uh, if it's similar, I think the best thing to do first is like recognize what works and what doesn't, mm -hmm. uh, and like look at your past, your past work, and and like if something was really good, mm -hmm. that's fine to reuse it. If yeah. not, don't have to reinvent the wheel every time. Yeah, I feel like the the how's it called? 
Well, the client's branding, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, the client branding is usually, I think, my biggest inspiration for everything. Mm. Like, really looking. And first, first of all, that's going to make them really happy. Yeah. <laughs> that it's like, hey, look, it's, like, really close to what you do. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's what I really like, too. That's, that's how I get new ideas, usually. Mm. Simon uh, said he's currently working in IT, mainly in hardware repairs, but he's looking at changing to design, websites in Photoshop, just need to build a portfolio. The Daily Creative Challenge is great for building a portfolio, for sure. Yeah. You can quickly... Uh, Everything that you know, pushes you a little bit. Is yeah, learning new techniques. Yeah. Um, getting quicker. I think I, I talked about it yesterday. Um, mm -hmm. Like, um, like at night, like, mm -hmm. like after dinner or something, and you, if you just like assign yourself like one hour, yeah, and you have to do something, right, that's right. usually really good. Just set a like yeah. Google Calendar. You can set um, like goals that you want to do, and yeah. it will populate all of your your calendar with that. Yeah, and even if if it's not good, it doesn't matter. Also, mm -hmm. one rule that I think I got from drawing mm -hmm. as a kid is that. Like, don't trash something un until it has to be trashed. <laughs> until it's so bad that you can't do anything out of it. Because so many times you start yeah. something and it's like, oh, it sucks. Mm. And, and Just keep going. It, yeah, and you keep going it. and then you find something. Yeah, keep working on it. I know that I almost trashed that project, actually, when I started <laughs> doing it. So, And now I kind of like it. There you go. It. There you go. And sometimes some people are going to like something that you do and you don't. That's, yeah. that's okay, too. And if you can't, you can't stand it, then you can delete it. That's all good. That's something definitely like um, doing user experience work. It's like not everyone is always going to love your work, you know, but yeah, especially when you make like a huge change in a product or something. Yeah. This looks great. I'm excited about that one. Okay. See this? This is not okay. <laughs> uh, let's go for. I love that oh, you shit, actually not, not use that the, uh, you know, the width and height and like actually type in. You're more like math oriented, I feel like. Sometimes. Yeah. And I <laughs> not, love that. Always. More of the developer mindset. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that's the length, so that's not that big of a deal. It's not too aligned, so that's okay. Just like mm -hmm. the placement. I don't like the placement to be floating. Mm, like, gotcha. I always want it to be somehow like centered or something okay. so that it's, it's, again, it's easier to code out. Yeah. <laughs> Ah. Oh my god, I love what the last message. <laughs> That's hilarious. Like when you have like final, final, final. Yeah. You can Mills. do V one, two, three and then <laughs> just keep going, but don't put final. Mel said, um, welcome to design <clears throat> design file underscore version 1110 underscore final underscore final dot PSD. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Constantine likes belly rubs. <laughs> yeah, I just need to make like a block because yeah. I, I don't want to like. Have you any, any of you ever been to cat cafes? It's such a fun experience. Oh yeah, we talked about it yesterday. Mm -hmm. My friends that saw the stream was like, so we basically you talked about cats the entire time. Well, yeah, that's <laughs> what the website's all about. <laughs> that's the topic of the, the day. <laughs> yeah, Muhammad agrees with you about um, using the client branding. He mm -hmm. thinks it really helps. And most of his designs are influenced by that. Yeah. And it makes the client happy. There's yeah. nothing worse than just telling the, a client, like, hey, mm -hmm. your branding is terrible, and right. here's another one that's better. <laughs> like, that's, that doesn't I work. Better, yeah. yeah. I know that we um, mm -hmm. I had a company that used to give away branding guides mm. as, like, a complimentary thing, but, like, mm -hmm. it would be, like, you finish it and you hand it off and say, that doesn't work. It's their own visual brand. They don't want to be, like, mm -hmm. okay. I don't have a say in it. I'm gonna, it's like, it's like, I always see branding as painting your kitchen. Like, it's like painting your kitchen. Okay. So you will have to like have a, you have to have a say in it, but it also has to make sense with whatever you're doing in the kitchen. Mm, okay. And, and so I. So it can't be like, since you're cooking, it can't be something crazy. Or something. Yeah, it can be something that's not appropriate to like right. what, what 
the purpose of the wall totally, is. Totally. Yeah, I, that totally makes sense. I yeah, mean, especially for um, like design systems. Like I do some design systems workshops sometimes, and um, a lot of times people like to make kind of like a tagline or a name for their design system. Um, and so like Shopify's is Polaris, and Microsoft's is Fluent. Um, Google's is material design. Uh, one oh, Trello's is nachos, which like doesn't make sense at all. Oh, I didn't even know about that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my but god. But it's like if you think about um, oh, and Netflix actually is stacks. So if you think about what actually goes along with like your branding, if it's more like your tagline can be a little bit more cheeky. If your company is like something kind of cheeky, so like Tebo, theirs is. Um, it's TV stupid, so like, you know, TV is like a casual thing you do, yeah. so it's it's more casual. Um, so yeah, that was an interesting thing that I learned about design systems. Yeah, but same for like, you know, coloring and really the whole branding experience. Oh, so we've got about nine minutes until our design feedback. Thanks everyone for asking your questions. These have been good questions yeah. today. Mm -hmm. I feel like I need something under here. Maybe you can put a uh, shadow on I this. I think it looks good. Yeah, if you want a shadow, maybe. That'd be, that'd mm. be cool. I'm gonna finish the screens for tomorrow. <laughs> oh yeah, how much time do we have? Eight minutes, okay. Eight minutes, yeah. We can always go back though, if we only want to review a few. Yeah. And then come back to your design. Does anyone have any questions about anything that Meg's been doing so far? Um, let us know. Or if you have any questions about UI and UX design in general, we're happy to answer. Or tech stuff. Or, or tech, tech questions. Stuff. <laughs> or tech or questions. financial, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Marathons. <laughs> we're experts in everything, apparently. <laughs> oh, there's, um, there's, I don't think, I think it's a semi-marathon. Um, in Europe, and my sister wants to do it, and apparently, so it's pretty close, to, it's in France, but pretty close to Germany, and I think it's called uh, the Wine Yard Marathon, mm -hmm. and you basically get- Are you stop by vineyards? Yeah, I think oh, every, I there's, there's like, so that's not it. Um, so first of all, it's like usually costumed, mm -hmm. that's the first thing, and it's usually pretty funny, and uh, you stop, at, there's like stopping points and mm -hmm. you get cheese and wine and you usually what's not to love you're like you're not really like thinking straight anymore yeah. <laughs> you get to the end of it and apparently oh, it's like the more the most fun of all of them that sounds awesome and i heard that i was like what so i was like yeah it's a thing it's like <laughs> okay that's I love that. that's creative <laughs> that is creative oh man um okay so let's see Kita Jones asked, what's the worst design experience you ever had? I wonder if we shouldn't answer that one, though, in case. No, it's a, I mean, <laughs> mine is not specific anyway. Okay. It's, it's general. Mm -hmm. um, it's when uh, when you don't have time to do anything. Mm. It's like when you, and I mean, some. You just need to like crank it out. Yeah, and like so, some, some clients are like generally picky, so mm -hmm. you have to convince them. It's also a good exercise for yourself because you're like, why do I care so much about making this that way? Sure. Is it because I think it looks better or is it because there's like an actual use case that calls for that? Right. And um, Does it help the user accomplish yeah. whatever task they're supposed to be doing? Yeah, and it's also training mm -hmm. you to see if your decision making comes from ego or comes from like mm -hmm. logic uh, or experience. Yeah. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think time in general is like the, the worst one because you're doing it, you're doing a bad job and you know it. <laughs> and uh, and it, yeah, it's really draining. Yeah, that's the worst. Like when you actually know that it's bad and you, you're not like confident in it. Yeah. So you know. Um, Rich asked, "How do you know what the current trends are in designs? Is there a site that follows this, or does it? Do we check this? Oh no, we're just talking about what we think. And there's YouTube videos every yeah, year, are like right now. January usually. Um, people do make do this. Yeah, like YouTube 2019 yeah. trends. Um, like people are just predicting. No one knows what the future is going to be. But, yeah, uh, you know, it's looking like on sites yeah. like Behance and Dribble for inspiration. And it's usually what comes up at the end of the year, and you're like, oh, we're mm -hmm. kind of like drifting away from that and starting right. to see like what has evolved throughout the yeah. last year. Mm -hmm. 
So we have our card done, this one. And now I'm regretting to not have done that before when the grid was here because uh. I'm going to have to do it on all the ones. <laughs> but it's okay. Um, I'm going to add the shadow to that one just to well, see. Well, you could you could do the grid now. Redo you it. can just copy and yeah. paste. I'm just going to redo Get it. rid of those two or something. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, there you go. So what's my, my numbers here? Because <laughs> I don't want to recalculate everything. Um, well, logically, I'm guessing it's going to keep the values from the previous one. Let's see if it works. If I do this and I redo repeat grid, is it going to stay? No, it's not. So I'm going to have to redo the spacing here. Okay. Super easy. I'm going to go back and forth to get to the point. How many are we missing here? Guys, we've only got about four minutes until the design feedback, um, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, there you go. Um, let's see. Hope asks, what should folks who are trying to get a UX job put in their portfolios? So one thing that, um, a tip that I would suggest when I first um, was like making a portfolio, I thought I just had to put like everything that I've ever done on there. Yeah, but no. actually, I think it's better, um, personally, to choose like six or so that you are really proud of instead of, you know, your whole spectrum yeah. of best to worst. So you can really be picky about what specific projects you really want to put up there. Um, and I think it helps to have, we were talking about this a little bit yesterday, but I think it helps to have the whole um, like start to finish of People like to see how you design, you know, they want to know how you got to the final result. So, you know, explain the whole, like have a description of your project, like what was it for, who was the client, what was the timeline, was there any other designers that were working with you, um, you know, show if you worked on wireframes, show like if it's low fidelity or higher fidelity, or even just sketches on like a napkin or something, like that's good to see too. It doesn't have to and be people anything like fancy. It. People love sketches. Oh yeah, sketches. Yeah, people, if you people sketch something, sketches. like and, what like, I did yesterday, things. they're gonna be like, whoa, I'm like, that's nothing. But they get all the excited all it. the time. Like yeah. you can draw something, you can't draw, it doesn't matter. <laughs> they're gonna be like, that's amazing. Yeah, that's so true. And it's so frustrating, because it's like, <laughs> just, <laughs> Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's like this isn't the final thing. No, this is it. just no point. And like, it's amazing. Look at look at the sketch over here. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> that's what I want. Um, so after you guys are asking, after this we've got Lou Duval. She's going to be doing the daily creative challenge, and then after that is Photoshop design with uh, Brad, hosted by Paul. So going to be a fun day. It will. Oh, we only have like two minutes left until the design feedback. Yay. This is looking so great. Brad Kit. <laughs> it's still late, but it's okay. I did more today. It's awesome. And Sprinkles is here. I forgot to go back on full screen. <laughs> Because of all the drag and drop. Oh yeah, no, it's fine. There you go. Um, yeah, I'm gonna add the shadow later because mm -hmm. then it actually adds it to the whole thing, and then it mm. gets cropped. So I'm gonna have to ungroup oh, it, right, right, right. and then um, and yeah. then make a new have one. Have to do a bit of yeah. work around. So the before that, things. I'm gonna remove that one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna. Well, I didn't change the values here. Well, I guess that's fine. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, it's just copy anyway. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, Paul, Simon, Nils, and Marissa. Thank you all for tuning in and asking all of your questions. Uh, Marissa asks, is there a place to find the schedule for the upcoming week? Um, just go to behance.net slash live, and it's the same thing um, every day except for Friday. Uh, so tomorrow it's also going to be us first thing in the morning at 9.30. This is Pacific time. And, um, and then right after us is gonna be the Photoshop Daily Challenge. And then after that is 
um, Brad with the he's going to be doing a Photoshop and Photoshop design. And then on Friday is um, Talon doing his weekly uh, XD episode. Oh, I love it. There you go. We have them all. <laughs> that looks so good. Okay. So, what do I want to change now? Oh, not much. All right, guys. It's time oh, for hi. the design feedback. Uh, so we're just going to review some of our work that our viewers have submitted and let them know what's working, give them some feedback on what they can do to make their designs better. Um, so we are going to look through some that I already have pulled up here. So let's start with, okay, this one. I'm trying to look for the daily creative challenges first, and then if there are other ones that weren't daily creative challenges, we can go and look at those too. Okay, so I'll share my screen here a little bit. Let's see. So this is by Lucian, and he did a design a music app. Cool. I love the mock-up. Very nice. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so this is maybe like this spot. Oh, part one of three. Design the discovery experience for a music app. And then this is the discover page. And then we've got the new music page. Nice. This is clean. Yeah, it's very clean. I was going to say the negative like, space is very nice. I don't have and... anything to say. <laughs> <laughs> and the colors are nice too, because like we were saying it's yesterday, muted, yeah. you don't want to have the album art being too, um, like you want to have the album art being the main focus, I guess, yeah. instead of the background being crazy yeah, colors. Yeah, and even like the, the interface colors, it's like, mm -hmm. it's very, yeah. it's very efficient. Like it is. The, everything that's active is like red and everything mm -hmm. else is black. That's right, great. Right, right. So you know, like, okay, yeah. I'm on this yeah. song right now so it, because it's highlighted. Yeah, this looks great. You can share. Okay. Oh, there's a clickable prototype. Is that a custom share? I feel like it. It's Let's not see. like the iOS default. <laughs> Let's click around this. Okay. New music, I'll go to that. Now playing. Ooh, swipes up. Fancy. Nice. Love it. Share. Ooh. That is oh, and that's amazing. inside the app, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's like not, a, not an external share, that's why. Okay, cool. That looks so great. Um, Okay, so I guess this is a different one. Take the single page website you designed yesterday and rework it for mobile users at the width of 375 pixels. Um, so this looks like a photography sort of website. Mm -hmm. So again, here I would explain like what, what this project is kind yeah. of about. Um, I love this. Yeah. This is very like editorial looking. I yes, like very editorial. I love that like we were talking about pulling some of the color like the main color from whatever photo it yeah. is. That's nice. So work, oh, okay, so it's like a portfolio site. Mm -hmm. You've got your work. Oh, I love this. Yeah, this is amazing. Um, I guess one suggestion here would be, um, I'm not really seeing a menu. Well, I see a menu on this one, mm -hmm. but not on the rest oh, it's of not them. Scrolling. Oh, so you have to scroll up to so, actually access the oh, okay. menu, I guess. Yeah. That's a little bit yeah. confusing, I guess, but other than that. Okay, so then we're on About and Contact. Cool. We don't see split screens very often on mobile. Yeah. It's really good. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess because it's so small and it's Yeah, you don't to have do. really. Yeah, but that's, a yeah. Good, that's a good use of it. Mm -hmm. And then I think this is the same page, just, or the same type of app, just like website view. Okay. I love it. Yeah. That's great. It's like Got a, a magazine, carousel. But yeah, this is awesome. That's I really great. don't have any feedback. Yeah. yeah. Except Maybe that just awesome. this is like cut off a little bit, but. Okay, so this is design a weather app for a smartwatch. I don't think we've seen a smartwatch one yet. Yeah, so that's far. true. So this is great. Cool. Okay. I guess with this one, one piece of feedback would be this page is really standing out for me um, just because it has the gradient in the background. Mm -hmm. um, so or I guess I'm just wondering why like the backgrounds are all different colors. Yeah. I would try to keep it consistent mm -hmm. somehow. 
Um, yeah, even if it's weather and you're expecting to see the mm -hmm. sky, mm -hmm. I, it kind of like makes it clash a little bit. Like yeah. I would think I would I would be on the different app from right, one to right. the other. Maybe that's bit. the point. I don't know. Yeah. And I think the the text is too small to yeah, be honest. Yeah, I was going to ask if it's readable. Um, or not, I'm not I mean, a smartwatch is small, but you can't really. There's not enough pixels to actually display yeah. it properly. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't mm -hmm. be able to read it. I mean, I, I think the smallest I could probably see is this is 40%. That one? And I think when in doubt, you know, like even if you don't have a smartwatch to be able to uh, like test it out, just like print it out at whatever mm -hmm. size it is just so you can see, you know, cut it out. Don't be afraid of printing. I know as designers, we are like, we never really print things yeah. out anymore, but sometimes I think it helps to actually put stuff up on a wall, see it all together, you yeah. know, like circle things and like do it as a collaborative, like team building yeah. kind, of, kind of effort. Okay, so this is... I mean, there's probably some guidelines that tell you what's the minimum size you can possibly yeah, use. Yeah, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. And then you have to like compare that to a regular font. Right. Like to the average font mm -hmm. and whatever font you're using, because sometimes their, their sizes are weird. Yeah. And that's, that's such a terrible idea because you're messing up with like guidelines. Yeah. Oh, battery level, time and date, menu. Oh, okay, so we've got a bunch of functionality in the app, cool. I don't think I've seen like fading along the edges in a smartwatch before. At least like I have an Apple Watch and I haven't seen I've, like you I know don't use watches it, at all, so I don't um, know anything about yeah, this. Yeah. And I never did like UI UX for that. Yeah. I think generally for something so small, um, you try not to do like the fading just because it it takes away from Yeah, there's not some enough space, space to actually be, be creative with that. It's more mm -hmm. about efficiency. So I think generally I would try to either use like an arrow, like you already have the swipe up here, yeah. so maybe you could use an arrow for the size or something. It should probably um, be like, I don't know if swiping is an option depending mm -hmm. on the yeah. app here. Yeah. Uh, or if, you know, if it's not a system thing. Mm -hmm. um, you could have your days being swiped. Yeah. Instead of sure. cluttering everything, because that's obviously not going to be readable, because we can barely read it right, here, and right. that would be like 200 like 300 pixels max, mm -hmm. and if we can read it on on their laptop, there's no way it's gonna be yeah. able to be read at like at like 60 percent of right. that that size. So, I would honestly yeah. think maybe like one of these, because this is maybe a lot one. of information for yes. each of these. So maybe show just only one. Yeah, I mean you could swipe page. like for each day that yeah. you want to see. So yeah. that's not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or if you do want to. Yeah, so maybe it's like one on each page with all the info, mm -hmm. or if you want to see all at once, it's only icons. Yeah. You know? It's very limited information. Yeah. Okay, weather details. See, this kind of looks like a different app to me, just because yeah, it's thrown it does, me off the it background. Yeah, it does look different. Mm -hmm. um, but I love that you did a smartwatch design. Yeah. Like, that's we cool, don't see we that very often. Seen one, yeah. Ooh, we've got I really like precipitation, that one. humidity, UV index, and max wind. Yeah, this one looks nice. Mm -hmm. The colors are nice against, like you were saying, any, th any neon yeah. against the dark background really stands out nicely. Yes. Um, <laughs> I don't know, maybe animation can be the solution to all of that. Mm -hmm. We can have like one per, per like rotation. Mm -hmm. So you have the first one, and then you have your second one, and yeah. you're just like we're looking at it. Mm -hmm. um, and you can like, yeah, see everything. Yeah. And if you don't want to wait for the um, for the animation, you can also add a swipe, totally. so that you know you can go Get straight up to like the information that you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Definitely animation. Another one. Wow, man, he was doing a lot of these. That's a lot. <laughs> That's awesome. Is it ticketing. Um, yeah. Purchase Ooh. a movie ticket. Okay. Yeah, there's a map. <laughs> <laughs> She's obsessed with maps. <laughs> She was talking to the Uber driver on the way here yeah. with, about maps. Okay, so this is, let's see if there's a prototype of this one. Yeah, let's click through it. Um, okay, so this is the detail page of one movie. Yeah, this looks great. Um, we've got some icons. I feel like, again, with the like fading of the text, it starts fading so high up I mean, this is almost like a fourth, yeah, a fourth of the page yeah. that you're kind of wasting. Um, so here, I don't know, I'd maybe do an arrow or something, or a scroll button instead. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, yeah, the button can be at the side, the red one. Yeah. You put mm -hmm. it in the corner and 
so that you yeah. have more space. Cool. Oh, you're searching for stones. Oh, got it. Okay. Yeah. Maybe this text a little bit smaller. And not really readable either. Mm -hmm. Nice, we've got an overlay. And I like that then this button becomes, you know, highlighted in the blue. Um, you select your day, seat selection. Very nice. Oh, that's really cool. The yeah. Seat thing. I did. And I like that the animation is kind of going different directions. Yeah. You know? Okay, so this we're is clean. I like day. that. Okay, so this is like reviewing. Mm -hmm. And the icons are nice too. Yeah, I think if um, if everything was aligned on that style a, a little mm -hmm. bit more, because that's very yeah. like breathy. Like, yeah. There's like room, and you can't mm -hmm. like easily read. Um, I think the issue is that it's it's a little cluttered. Mm -hmm. um, I would just put the title up here. Mm -hmm. I think it's. Um, I think it's fairly creative on the side. I just don't know how mm -hmm. um, practical it is for like sure. longer titles. Sure. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's true. Maybe it would be if cut. Was and that's really part long of it. I mean, it's a ticket, so it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. But yeah. That's a big check mark. <laughs> yeah. It's like okay, Maybe you're going. A little smaller on the You're mark. going now. <laughs> But I like how bold this is. Right yeah, here. Like, yeah, I really like the okay, really bold. Okay, it's solid. Bold. We've done it. <laughs> cool. Okay, let's go back. So this is the last one on this one. Mm -hmm. um, design the mobile dashboard for an activity tracker. Okay, so I think this is just one page. Yeah, I love that you use the neon for all of these. So we've got the steps, the distance, um, time slept, and calories burned. This is cute down here. It is really cute. I love that. Um, so this is, I guess, your like weekly overview of steps. That's oh nice. yeah. Oh yeah. I love. I wonder like how that. you would. Oh, I guess it would be the same for any. But. Um, oh yeah, add more colors to be able to compare everything. Yeah, but I'm wondering since you have both of these selected. Yeah. Um, this is conf yeah. I think we need yeah. a different color since if, we have two bars if, down here. Um, if you were. Um, if you went from like lighter blue mm -hmm. to dark purple mm -hmm. and you use transparency, you could actually have something that doesn't look too bad and that compares the, the four of them at the bottom. Mm, so you have yeah. like 20% per layer. Sure. And then it could actually, I mean 20% if you have the four of them. Right, right. Like, Snack, selected, otherwise it's like, yeah, like 50, mm -hmm. 50 or something like that. Yeah. And um, what it would be 25, not 20. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I think transparency is like a really good point to use. Or you can yeah. just use lines instead of mm -hmm. filling the space, so we can like cross check all the lines. Sure. Having one color per element. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, this one looks great. Thank you so much for all of these. Yeah, that's amazing. That's like this so is a much. lot of work. Yeah, and like putting them all in the mockups, like you really went the extra mile. I feel yeah. Like. Yeah. So thank you, Lucian, for that. Let's see, eleven thirteen. Okay, we've got some time. Um, so this is another daily challenge by Jennifer, Jennifer Thompson, another pet store. Everyone wanted to do the pet one, I feel like. That yeah. one was popular. <laughs> oh, the logos are all just so great. Well, yeah. Pups are our passion. I think the subtitle right here is a little small. Yeah, I think if you um, scale down the logo entirely, it's going to look cleaner because mm -hmm. you don't have a lot of padding around it. Mm -hmm. um, these buttons are like really big right here yeah, for the carousel, because those look clickable to me. Yeah, but they probably yeah they're pretty are big. Not, so I would scale those down a lot more. Yeah, um, I think uh, first uh, the first feedback would be that we have too many fonts, because um, we have the script one, we have mm -hmm. the title one, uh, we have the one from the menu that I feel like is bolder than the senior pups get this one an right extra ten percent. Like yeah, this one mm -hmm. looks bolder than the other one. Yeah. Uh, so we have a we have a lot of fonts and um, yeah, on sale would be the same as the one from the research. Yeah. I like that she used fetch for search. Yeah. That's kinda that's clever. adorable. Like using your own wording for yeah. certain actions. That's yeah. a good idea. And that's part of branding here. Mm hmm And that's great. Um, I would say Have make a these smaller. a little smaller. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I mean, it's very clear. Like, okay, these are all um, types of pet food, so that's yeah. very clear. Traveling pups. I yeah. like the script font. Like, usually I mm. hate them because they're not yeah. clean. That one is like yeah, well, it's like playful, like well picked. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
I would. Yeah, this one either, looks a little like old. I think older. the illustration maybe doesn't like fit with. Yeah, I think it's the same for the on sale yeah. color. Like mm -hmm. the purple is kind of like clashing with the rest of the colors. On sale, where's that? Oh, uh, this one. Yeah. Yeah, because you're not using purple anywhere yeah. else. Mm. And maybe same thing for the the um, the big like fifteen dollars off. Mm. Um, if that were gray. Like, sure. like the gray that you use, or black, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, from the rest of the website, you would have less colors and it will look like cleaner mm -hmm. right away. I um, feel like I tend to only use like three colors yeah. max, almost. Yeah. Otherwise it gets too kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. um, and I think this piece about the speech bubble, if it's flat, mm -hmm. if you want to keep the right. character, if it's flat, it's going to look better. Because mm -hmm. like outline plus um, that little like shadow in there, it's a different kind of style. And yeah, it's it mm -hmm. kind of like it kind of shows that it's different sources. Mm -hmm. Maybe not because the puppy has like the smile lines that are yeah, that's dark true. too. That's but possible. like all of these but don't have outlines. Yeah, so. exactly. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, maybe all flat would would do it. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's. I think that's it for that one. Yeah. I love nice this job. Too. Oh love wow! Oh, okay. oh my god! She there's so much lot. more. <laughs> oh, we haven't seen that. Let's click through this. Okay, it's a video. Oh, the carousel. Oh, okay. Oh, the animation looks so nice. So we've got some scrolling. We got the carousel going. Okay, we've got the detail page. <laughs> that little dog again. Dude, I saw a new font. Some reviews. Should I pause? Um, oh, that's okay. I saw it. It's like Helvetica okay. bold. Mm. It's right there. <laughs> Add to cart. Okay. Oh, wow. The oh, clipping cool. mask to show the yep. text coming through, text typing. Really good job on the animation. Payment method. I love that you really showed the whole process. The whole flow, yeah. yeah. Very nice. Check out. Track your order. Even the tracking. Yeah, I love <laughs> the trackings. Oh, I wanted the tracking. Something yeah. to happen with it. Okay, so that's. It's redoing. Yeah, I think sc scaling, um, scaling mm -hmm. fonts and limiting colors, I think that would do everything. Yeah, for sure. I agree. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we... Have and this. like one size per title, one size per subtitle. That yes, would like literally sure. like that would change everything. everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we did that one. Okay, another pet one. <laughs> so this is oh, from... Oh, that is cute. Roger, oh. uh, another pet daily creative challenge. This is amazing. Is okay, good? let me just scroll through everything first. Is that good? Can... Oh, yeah. I'm like, I don't know. I like the title. <laughs> yeah. I, I like know. the title. Uh -huh. I'm like, this looks oddly familiar. So he, okay, so he wrote down all the features. That's nice. Uh, a mini little design system. So we got the color palette, the typography. It is Gilroy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, I guess people oh come come gosh. in and be like, what's that one? And yeah. Just, okay. <laughs> wow. The logo. High fidelity artboards. I love this. I love the colors, yeah. too. Navigation, shopping cart, purchase flow, rating experience, and then the prototype. Yeah, the presentation is great. Yes, it really is. The only thing I would say with the presentation is maybe having a little description up here. Yeah. But, okay, let's watch the prototype. The thing is that, like, I feel like now their uh, the description is, like, all the way down on Behance. Oh, instead the of bottom. on the side. That's true. And, uh, and, I mean, it doesn't, like, SEO doesn't work on it if it's a photo. Mm. So it's kind of, mm. like, you have to type it out, and it breaks your, it breaks the flow. Mm. Still good to have, even if it's a photo. Yeah. Okay, let me go back to the beginning. I love that picture. Good job on I the pictures. I love everything. The, the, <laughs> everything is great. Yeah, the typography is all sized properly. Yeah. The icons. Um, yeah. This icon is filled, which is different than these, so I would just maybe make those similar. Um, a little drop and down. And it's black. I feel like animation. it's fairly rare to see a good design where black doesn't clash mm, everything. Right. And here the high contrast like makes it work yeah. because of the pastel colors. That's true. Yeah, yeah, because black is one of the yeah. main colors. Yeah, the, usually everyone avoids The green is black. a supplementary, which is usually not the case. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's great. Yeah. This I, is so exciting. Kind of want it to exist now. <laughs> and then the payment. 
Very nice. Like, it's very clear that you have these, you know, big buttons up there that you yeah. know what step you're on. Is it sad that there's so many brands that could look like that and they don't? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is great. The slider, that good job on the great. slider animation. Yeah. This is awesome. I don't have too much feedback for no, this one. It's just, it's um, just great. <laughs> yeah, it really does. It's amazing. Good. Yeah, good job. Yeah. Roger. Okay, let's go to another one and see if we have time. Okay, we have about five minutes left. So. Okay. Um, I wonder if there were any other daily challenges. Let's see. Um, let's do this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a mobile translate app. Okay. Oh, they use Sketch. No, let's do another one. <laughs> Um, okay, a cricket app. Mm -hmm. So we've got our matches. I wonder if we can zoom in a little. Hmm. No way to zoom in. It's so hard to see. Okay. We've got our matches. Today's live matches. Okay. This is fun. Yeah. I I haven't seen anything where it's kind Me of. Me neither. Like, That's why I'm like, this um, is so cool. Not just like straight across. I like the button at the bottom too. This is the cool. center one. It's oh. like, it is really interesting. Hmm. So this is for cricket matches. Is it? Okay. Right? Is it soccer? Oh, soccer. Never mind. I thought it said cricket. Oh, I guess it's just sports in general. Oh, it is. Okay. Um, okay. So we've got the detail view of like one team. I kind of feel like there's a lot of colors yeah, going on. Yeah, me too. The, the, I think because the of the photo. And the, that green. Mm -hmm. really pops. Also, I'm kind of afraid that um, that um, red mm -hmm. over dark blue for um, colorblind is not going to show up. Oh, you mean because, this one? Yeah, this. because the majority of colorblind people are, can see red and it turns to like dark, oh. dark grayish. Okay. And uh, yeah, you can actually put those uh, mockups on a, a simulator kind okay. of online and it's going to like scan everything mm -hmm. and like show you how it would be seen. Uh, so yeah, I think okay. that that color is kind of like risky mm -hmm. because it's really bright for us, but I don't okay. think the, color, the average color like, person that doesn't see red is going to see it. Yeah. So you would do maybe like a yellow or orange or something instead of the red? Or, or just like maybe lighter and not okay. that bright so gotcha. that it would still have contrast. It's mm -hmm. more about contrast than actually showing the color mm -hmm. that looks right. Okay. Um, I see, I see. Okay, and then we've got matches, so... Um, but I, I really like the shape. Like, yeah, the shape really, is great. It's like really, really interesting. Unique. And yeah. how those uh, three shapes here like. And I like the shape in the background inverse. too, because it would be really empty if it wasn't there. Yeah, that's true. The circle. Yeah. Yeah. And then we got the video hub. That is clean. I love this. Yeah. I to be honest, I'm not crazy about this play down here. I think because it doesn't really match anything else. Like there's not yeah. really any kind of. The icon. No, I just love that that, that that green like. You it's do. It's just so beautiful. Yeah, it's yeah, neon. neon. Of course, green. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you love the neon colors. <laughs> I love neon when it's like, yeah. like, I don't know when it works with the with mm -hmm. the the screen. For sure. Yeah. When it's eighties, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think we only have like two minutes left. So, do mm -hmm. you want to quickly talk about what we're doing next? Talk about just give a review of what yes. you went through today and maybe what we'll plan on seeing tomorrow. Yeah. So tomorrow we're gonna do uh, the mobile version, possibly finishing a page. I don't. Oh, I still have to show the the how's it called the symbol thing. So oh. the symbol tool. I will make sure that I don't finish those buttons, but I'm gonna finish the rest of the page. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna do mobile. And the first thing you're gonna do though, it's uh, gonna be animated that. Okay. Um, so that we can show how it would look when it's like floating around. Yeah. Oh, um, it'll be kind of like slowly floating. Yeah, exactly. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, I actually I actually tried it in the You guys want to stick around for that cuz that will be fun. Yeah, it look it looks it looks great. I actually yeah. tried it um, last awesome. week and it looks really cool. Uh, we can see. also do it on that one mm -hmm. and we can also have maybe like a switch from one page to the other like how that would change. Possibly how the shape in the back could change because okay. I'm guessing that when you yeah, it's gonna if you if you auto animate, it's gonna go to the other one. Mm -hmm. Where's the time? <laughs> awesome. Okay. Oh well, there we go. All are. right.
that's so great. I can't wait to see what you make tomorrow Same. and be sure to stay tuned um, for right after this. It's gonna be a Photoshop daily challenge with Voodoo Val. And then after Brad is gonna be working in Photoshop and be sure to tune in tomorrow at the same time. We'll be here at 9.30 for Meg and I, and she'll be continuing her cat cafe. Yeah. Bye, guys. See you Bye. tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow.